Hey guys, this is just a quick video as an amendment to a couple of things I posted recently. Um, I know I recently, actually I'm uploading it as I'm recording this, recorded a uh, collection video, which I actually did that about a week ago. I've had a crazy couple weekends, so, you know, finally just got that uploaded and I realized I forgot to fix part of it, so I'm going to do it now. And I also had done my top 10 horror movie collection, or horror movies and I wanted to make a little amendment to that too. First of all, for the collection video, which is uploading now, so shouldn't be too much of a gap. Um, I was in Orlando this weekend and I picked up two Movie Maniacs figures. I got here you can see uh, Ash from Army of Darkness. He's really cool. I only had uh, one Movie Maniacs before this, which was Evil Ash, so it's kind of nice to have the other Ash. This one's also a lot better made than Evil Ash. Um, it came with a lot of accessories. He had the big movie poster that all of them come with. He had little teeny tiny Ash with a fork from that one scene where, you know, the mirror splits and they're all little ashes. And uh, a Necronomicon. Also an interchangeable metal hand to go over the chainsaw. And that shotgun does come out of his little pocket on his back. And then I also got a Candyman figure. I was kind of laughing because when I bought it, the guy at the uh, counter told me I need to make sure I keep this guy away from uh, any mirrors, which I thought that was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I got him posed right now, so he's kind of opening his jacket. You can see the bees and gunk under it. Really like this guy. He's really cool. Um, also picked up, stopped in Gainesville on my way back home, and their Toys R Us had the really cool Freddy vs. Jason prop replica masks. So I got that hanging over my workstation now. So that's my amendment to my collection. There's a couple things I got in the last few days. And then back to what um, my horror movie top 10. Now, I'm not changing my top 10. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the ones I picked for that. I don't think I'm going to amend that. But for my honorable mentions, let me get these guys out of the way. For my honorable mentions, I totally left out two of the biggest ones, which would be Hatchet and Behind the Mask Rise of Leslie Vernon. If you've seen my customs... You know that, you know, behind the mask, Leslie Vernon was the first one I did, and Victor Crowley was the second one, or at least the second one I intended to do. And uh, I don't know how I left them out of my honorable mentions, but I'm kind of embarrassed about that, because those are very much two of my favorite new horror movies. And uh, so I need to include them right now, right now. These movies are freaking amazing. If you haven't seen them, go see them. Hatchet 2 comes out later this year. I really hope they can come up with a good way to bring Leslie Vernon back. I'd love to see him again in another movie. So, uh, yeah. That's about that for now. Um, i got a bunch of videos coming. Not all of them necessarily custom-related. Not all of them necessarily horror-related, actually. But, uh... I guess I'm going to be able to hold on to the camera for longer than I even anticipated, so I could do a bunch of nice, high-quality videos. So I'm excited about that. You're going to be seeing a lot more crap. Hopefully good crap. Um, definitely want to do some work on customs today, so maybe I'll get another video of that posted up later. But until then, um, yeah. I don't have a really good ending for this, so go away. Bye.